Just for Kids, a comic exploring the new coronavirus from NPR, National Public Radio. It's a word you might have heard at school or online or on TV. Sniff, sniff. Ah! What? He might have the coronavirus! OMG, OMG, OMG! Wait, what is that? This coronavirus is a newly discovered virus. It causes a disease called COVID-19. In some parts of the world, it has made lots of people sick. Coronavirus facts. Corona is Latin for crown. Under a microscope, these viruses look like a crown with spikes ending in little blobs. A lot of the symptoms are similar to the flu, which you might have had before. Dry, itchy cough. (coughs) Fever. So hot. Kind of hard to breathe. Most people who have gotten sick with this coronavirus have had a mild case, and there aren't a lot of cases in kids. If kids do get the virus, it tends to be very mild. Mild means not very strong. Like mild salsa is the least spicy. I myself prefer spicy salsa, crunch, crunch. People who are much older or who already have health problems are more likely to get sicker with coronavirus. What about dad and mom and grandma and grandma and uncle and auntie? If anyone gets sick and feels like they might have coronavirus, they can immediately call their doctors and get help. Well, what's the verdict, Doc? You're okay. Phew. In the U.S., we don't have a lot of coronavirus cases. Medical people are tracking the disease very carefully and are trying to make sure it doesn't spread. Let's find that coronavirus! The virus is somewhere out in the world. And let's stop it! If there's anything you might be confused or worried about, don't be afraid to ask someone you trust. Uncle, I see a lot of people wearing face masks. Does that mean they have coronavirus? No. Maybe they're trying not to get sick, or they may be sick with some other illness. But my friend at school told me, don't listen to your friend, listen to me. There are some things you can do to protect yourself, family, and friends from getting sick. One, wash your hands often. Use soap and water. Wash for at least 20 seconds. If it helps, sing the ABCs while you do it. That's about 20 seconds. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T. Hey, slow down over there. Wash after using the bathroom or being in public spaces like the bus or playground. U, V, W, X. Try to get into all the nooks and crannies. Two, sneeze into your elbows. Coronavirus is believed to spread through little droplets of fluid from your lungs. Achoo! These little droplets carry germs. Yuck! That's why you should always cover your mouth. If you sneeze into your elbows, you can prevent germs from going into the air and into your hands. Three, avoid touching your face. Don't pick your nose. Don't touch your mouth. Don't rub your eyes. These are all the places where germs enter our bodies. But I love picking my nose. Jeez, you can still do it. You just use a tissue, then throw it away. It's very important to remember that this kind of virus can affect anybody. It doesn't matter where you come from or what country your parents are from. Hmm. Just because someone looks different or talks differently doesn't mean that they are at a higher risk of getting the coronavirus or spreading it. And don't forget, there are a lot of helpers out there who are working to protect you. It is not your job to worry. Family, doctors, teachers, helpers of all kinds. But seriously though, please, wash your hands! If you're worried how contagious COVID-19 is, let's have a look at this graph from Popular Science, where one sick person is represented by a yellow dot, and then the people that come into contact with that sick person, how many actually catch the disease, is represented in orange. So you can see in the second row on the far left side, COVID-19, for every one person that's infected, they infect on average about two and a half. Uh, 
on the bottom row uh, and on the far right in the middle, things that you've probably heard of before because of your vaccinations, measles, mumps, smallpox, rubella. Um, these are m much more contagious. They, you have been protected through vaccines through them, and doctors and scientists are currently working on protections for COVID-19. But in the meantime, don't forget to wash those hands.